Programming tracks are such an important time-saving tool for model railroaders worldwide. They allow you to program your decoders fast and efficiently without the need to stop your main layout. Today we are going to be showing you how to add a cost-effective programming track to the CS105 by using our LT50 starter system to do so. Use our LT50 as a full-time dedicated programming track without ever having to shut the main down when using our CS105 command station. Do this by connecting the LT50 to the CS105 via the LCC bus. Hello everyone, I'm Bobby from TCS and today we're going to be asking the question, why should you add an LT50 programming track to your CS105? There are multiple reasons for this. Because our LT50 connects via LCC, you'll be able to control your programming track from any of your TCS wireless throttles connected to your CS105. This is really helpful for any of you that prefer wireless throttles and don't want to use a wire throttle like the LT50. This setup also isolates the programming track from the main, meaning if you have any shorts on the programming track, it won't affect the main at all. The LT50 is a very cost-friendly device for all of the features that it has, coming in at $199.95. This system is 15 volt, 1.4 amps, and perfect for any small layouts or programming tracks. It features everything from in-throttle consisting, CV programming options, easy to read menus, and an ergonomic form factor that people have grown to love with our UWT50 throttles. These have all the bells and whistles you would expect from a dedicated programming track. The LT50 also works seamlessly with the CS105, meaning you do not need any other software or device to get this to work. Simply change a few settings and you're there. Let's go into how to set this up. Here we have our CS105 LT50, LT panel that comes with the LT50, and two tracks. One will be the mainline track, and one will be the programming track. Let's set up the CS105 first. You'll be plugging it in and setting it up how you normally would. Power cord goes to the wall, and main track output goes to our main track. Next, we will do the same with our LT50. Power goes into the LT panel, LT50 goes into the LT socket, and the main track output of the LT panel goes to the programming track. Now that we have both set up, we need to change a few simple settings in both of them. These changes only need to be made once to activate the setup. Let's start with the CS105 first. Here I have a UWT100 to demonstrate. First go to the main menu, then select button 8 for settings. Button 2 for DCC system settings. Once it loads, go to button 2 for system settings. Button 3 for advanced options. And then scroll down to button 6, which is the programming track access. Here we need to select unavailable, which means the main line is always on. This is the only setting we need to change in the UWT100. Now we can go to the same setting on the LT50. Go to the main menu, settings, system settings, advanced options, and then programming track access. Here we will select program track only for the LT50. Now that these settings are done, we can connect the two together. Simply plug an RJ45 slash ethernet cable into the back of the CS105, and the other end goes to an LCC jack on the LT panel. Next, we can try placing a locomotive and getting a CV reading from it. Here we will be programming our TCS Locomotive Works U25C. If you want to check out these nice models, I'll be leaving a video link in the description so you can see all the features as well as where you can buy them. We can grab our mainline throttle, which is our UWT100, and get into the main menu. After that, we can scroll to button 4 for CV programming, and now click on programming track. If this error pops up, you may have to unplug the LT50 and then plug it back in. This error will only be a one-time error. You should now have access to the programming from either the LT50 or any other throttles you have connected to the CS105 command station. Another great advantage of this setup is you can also use your LT50 as a wired mainline throttle. This setup is very cost effective, easy, and efficient, 
making it one of the best choices in the industry. But don't take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. Be on the lookout for more helpful videos from us here at TCS, and thank you so much for watching.